friends, it's me, your favorite riddle solving YouTuber. Back at it again for a brain busting, butt clenching, riddle wrenching time. People were talking about a new criminal who hypnotized people and stole their valuables. When I count to 10, you will unlock your phone and give it to me. Yes, ma'am. One day, a woman came to the police. I'd like to report the theft of my diamond ring. How did it happen? I was walking down the street when a stranger stopped me. Oh my god, guys, it's him. It's the hypnotizer. He looked right into my eyes. I felt dizzy for a few moments. When I picked myself up, I realized that my ring was gone. But the inspector didn't believe her. Why? Excuse me, ma'am. First of all, you're a straight up liar. You were in sunglasses. How could he look you straight in the eye? You looked him in the eye. Maybe that's how he does it. Maybe if you look him in the eye, he can hypnotize you with the power of his pupils. You know, that's all it takes. But also, that doesn't make sense. Some guy hypnotized me and stole my ring. Nah, he just stole it. Why you gotta make up the whole part about hypnotizing? She was wearing sunglasses. He couldn't hypnotize her like that. This is a real thing. If you're wearing sunglasses, they can't hypnotize you. Like John Cena, you can't see me. Sunglasses don't only protect you from the sun. Inspector Rick decided to have a break and go on vacation. You know, solving riddles is very hard work. I'm gonna check myself into a luxurious hotel. One day, he noticed a woman with four suitcases in different sizes. The woman looked rich and mysterious. Wow, she he has four suitcases and sunglasses on. Rich and mysterious. The doorman offered to help with her bags, but the woman said no. How can you carry four bags with two hands? Unless you got like a booty shelf. You know, like one of those badonka dunks that sit like a shelf and then just throw a suitcase on the back. Later that night, the inspector saw her leaving the hotel with one suitcase. Ooh, she left the key at the reception. Very suspicious. What happened to the rest of your suitcases? Maybe she had to make a delivery. Why was she only at the hotel for a few hours? Mysterious indeed. How much you charge per hour? When the woman came back and entered her room, she immediately called hotel security. Someone stole three suitcases, which I left here. The security asked the inspector for help. Bruh, the inspector's on vacation. Will he check into the hotel like, oh yes, I'm an investigator. So let me know if you need any investigative help. Even though I'm on vacation, but like, don't even worry about it. Sk -sk 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 -sk. The inspector quickly realized where the suitcases were. Where are they? Seriously? Y'all made me sit through all of that? The suitcases are in the suitcase. Where else you gonna smuggle them? They could be anywhere. They could be under the bed, but I'm gonna say they're in the suitcase. Cause it's like, what? She had various size suitcases, right? Wow, so mysterious. Yes, look. It's like those Amazon suitcases where it comes with like a big suitcase, a medium, a small, and an extra small. I've seen this before. You don't fool me. You make it fake drama. Saying, oh! Largest one, duh. Wow. So she just came to the hotel for a few hours with four empty suitcases. Oh, sorry, three are empty. One is full of the other three. <laughs> you suck at scamming insurance. The woman faked the robbery to get compensation. Oh, yes, yeah, see, exactly. That's exactly what I said. Because, like, when you go on vacation, you can insure your trip. Like, if you lose something and then just report it as stolen, and then you get money for it. Who is his wife? A, Gertrude, or B, Barbara? Barbara looking at him. Like, I've never seen this man before in my whole entire life. And Gertrude shocked, like, oh, not this dude again. And he just mad at both of them. Wait, does he work there? And his wife is in jail, but he works there. Can't you just bust her out? Or maybe he's like disappointed, like, oh my god, Barbara, how could you end up in here? I'm gonna go with A. She looking like she about to bust out of there, like, Billy, you gotta help me out. Wait, B has a ring, and he has a ring too. B for Barbara. Or maybe they're trying to confuzzle me. A look like she's looking right at him. I'm gonna go with A. <gasps> they got into a fight. She has a black eye and he has like, oh. He looked like he got into a fight with Wolverine though. Not Gertrude. Man, he really had to give it to her in the face. Mm -mm -mm. So that makes it his wife? Maybe it's the other one because the arrows pointed to her. I don't know. Comment below. Who's his wife? I still don't know. Seven second riddles. Y'all gotta be more precise with your answers. Alex just got his driving license. Yay. It wasn't easy, but he succeeded. That week he was driving home home on a highway. Oh, whoa there, you just got your license and you driving on the big boy road. Suddenly he saw a big deer and a little buck right in front of his car. He has only a few seconds to decide what to do. Oh no, this is why they call them seven second riddles. <laughs> 
If he goes on the right side, he'll eat the big deer and ruin his car. Okay, you know what? What we're gonna do is avoid all damage to the car. If he goes to the left, he will eat the baby deer into that tree and wheel onto oncoming traffic. Oh, there's no on. Oh, wait. Oh, no. You can't do that. And he can have his license taken away. But he just got his license. And now this family of deer is about to ruin everything for Johnny over here. What should he do? Why can't you just break? I mean, you got seven seconds to think about what you're gonna do but you can't like think to just break why can't you just drive onto the grass is the grass lava we playing this now i'm gonna say go to the left side he should pull over and wait for the animals to leave the road then why did you give me those two useless choices i thought it was an either or i said he should have just break oh those are those are some deer in the middle of the road okay see which which should i go should i hit the big one or should i hit the little one why pick one when you can have both? Ugh. Not really. Why didn't he just break? That's what you do. You just break. If something's in the middle of the road, you just break. Slow down. Man, I would take his license away for being straight up dumb. What's wrong with this photo? I don't know what appears to be wrong. We have a family over here enjoying an array of sweets for Din Din. Mommy's eating a cookie, but mommy's really on a diet. That's what's wrong. Children are drinking tea. Is it 8 in the morning or 8 at night? Wow. You had me just so distracted by this family eating their macaroons and their Chips Ahoy cookies that I didn't notice that the teapot got two heads. Bruh. Jack's car died at a gas station on the open road. Jack had to hurry so he wouldn't miss an important meeting. He saw three cars coming and decided to ask the drivers to give him a lift to the city center. Who should he ask for help? Okay, okay, okay. We got three very sketchy dudes over here. One of them is smuggling something in his elbows. Oh, never mind. That's a sleeve. <laughs> I thought he was smuggling a foot. Do you see that? It looks like a foot hanging out of here. Am I going crazy? But anyways, he has a flat tire. That makes him useless. Green car over here has tools to fix a tire. Why is there blood on it though? Okay, you, you can't trust this dude. Oh, there's a trash can in his back seat. No, uh-uh. You ask him for help, you gonna go home in one of those. This guy is a messy slob with ketchup all over his shirt, eating a hot dog at a gas station. He seems like the most reliable one and the most relatable. <laughs> yeah, he got a flat tire. Useless. Oh, you can not trust him. The black bag looks sus. Just catch up. The third driver is the best option. Heck yeah. Also, maybe he'll give you a little bite of his hot dog. Double win. A rich man loved exclusive flowers. He asked his friend to bring him some rare tulips from Holland. The flowers were incredibly beautiful. Everybody was jealous of his garden. Wow, look at Bill over here flexing his Dutch tulips. One morning, all the tulips disappeared. Somebody cut them all. There were three suspects in the house. In the house? Wouldn't it be the neighbors? You ain't got like security for your tulips? No way, he literally has a security guard. It's impossible. I've been on duty all night long. So you should have knew who cut the tulips. Butler. The flowers were so beautiful. Who could do such a terrible thing? I don't know. That's what we're here trying to figure out. I had a day off. Ooh, he looked terribly suspicious. Who's lying? Okay, the security guard and the gardener look terribly suspicious. The butler is just like shocked. Like, oh, who would do such a thing? Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna go with the security guard. The security guard was on watch all night and this happened overnight <laughs> It was him. Gardening gloves? Those look like dishwashing gloves. Maybe he was just washing dishes. He held the wet flowers against his chest. Oh, caught in the act. Wow, imagine your security guard ruining your garden of rare tulips. Who was cheating? I don't know these people. I've never seen them before in my life. How do I know who's with who? Just because these two people are getting Pepsi at the same time from separate machines doesn't mean they're cheating, right? Wow. And here I thought, Thinking, who's not being faithful? No, it's this dude who brought a whole glass lemonade pitcher to McDonald's to fill it up with Pepsi. Wow, caught in the act. <laughs> he 
so proud of himself too. He's like, my family will be drinking for days. I bet he asked for a water cup too, scumbag. Jill called the police. <gasps> my hubby, he has been yeeted from this world. He didn't come home from work yesterday. I was waiting for him all night long. And then the morning, I found him dead by the door. That sounds like a horror game. Dead by the door. So the police questioned three suspects. Simon, the neighbor, said I woke up when Jill began screaming. I rushed to her house. Lila, or maybe it's Lila, you know, because her hair is lilac. Lila with the lilac hair. I came from the club late at night and fell asleep at once. I didn't hear anything. I was so worried that I couldn't get asleep until 4 a.m. I slept for a couple of hours, then got up and went to look for George. I found him right in front of the house. She looked Looks so angry. Like, George, you didn't come home all night and I found you passed out on the front porch. Rude. But he's gone. Deceased. And she seemed mad about it. Like, why didn't you text me back? Okay, but who did it? I'm gonna say it's Lila. That's what adults do. They don't trust kids with the colored hair. Oh, it's Jill? When Jill called the police, she said that she hadn't slept all night. But now she's saying she slept for a couple hours. Yo, I do that all the time, though. I'll be like, I didn't sleep last night. And I would have still slept like three, four hours. I don't know, it's just something you say. But no, they're like, take her away. Jill is a liar. That's why your husband yeeted himself. <laughs> Who is not his wife? Hold up, we got two women. Both of them pregnant, wearing the same thing. One is surprise, and one is from an anime. And he's just looking at them like, uh. Which one is it? Surprise, we're having twins. Maybe she had a twin sister. Also, why is she built like that? She's standing like this. Severe case of lordosis. Okay, no, but for real though, how am I supposed to know which one is which? They look exactly the same. No shadow. What do you mean no shadow? She doesn't exist? She was literally photoshopped in and they forgot to do a drop shadow. What do you mean? This isn't a real life situation. Oh, there's duplicates of my wife. Oh, one doesn't have a shadow. Oh, just a figment of my imagination. Precisely. No wonder he was so confused. So was I. Would you rather have your bank account hacked? or have your phone hacked. Ooh, that's horrible. Probably my phone. I mean, I let my mom go through my phone, so like, yeah, I got my YouTube login. The hacker can see how much money I make. But I mean, if I get my bank account hacked, can they actually like take my money? Or would they just like log into it and be like, ha, Ah, yes. Look at all these transactions. Congratulations. You know where I get my breakfast, lunch, and dinner from. That's all you're going to find on my bank account. That and bills. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and got any of these right, make sure you hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe. Join the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.